Welcome to Art for Fest. I'm Ifedo Lapo Onikoi, and today we'll be talking about African contemporary art. We have as a guest Wande Oseni, coming from Nigeria, who will be sharing with us her heart, her concepts, and a vision of today's world. <laughs> How are you, Wande? I'm good, and you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for really. taking the time eh, to answer. Oh, thank you. Today. I was falling asleep as of five minutes ago. I was just very conscious of the time. Oh, finally, we made it. We made it. <laughs> ah, we made it. Thank you so much. Please, no one day, introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I am one day Ostini. I'm um I'm a figurative painter. Mm -hmm. I use my preferred medium is acrylic. Yep. Yes, I do both digital and traditional painting. Yeah, that was like the little. I think that's very good. I mean, yeah. how long have you been painting? How long have you been painting? Uh, so I've been painting since I've been painting since 2016, but not as seriously as of till 20, 2018. Let's say 2018, 2019 was when I got more serious with my painting. Ah, yes. so that was around lockdown. Did lockdown inspire yeah. you then? Uh, I've been painting before, but you know, there was that burst of inspiration and the time, there was so much time to do more. That's yes, true, that's true. So what would you say, what are your biggest uh, artistic influences right now? Oh, that's the thing. Uh, Ron, I'm inspired by everything. I've always been inspired by books, by, I'm always, I've always been influenced by books, by visuals, movies, books, and everything. Right now, I just, I can't say this particular thing, everything, everything inspires and influences me, but more of the femininity, like seeing more women speak out, more women being themselves, yes, and yeah, it's really been influencing my work, just women being, being. I, I, I saw like, the way you, you know, you portray the women, because I was looking at this and I was like, this sign reminds me of something, this circle, this circle, and I remember, oh, that's the female sign, you know, female. Yes, 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 yes. That's where that inspiration wow. came from. Okay. Yes. So, I mean, it's, it looks amazing. That's very strong, especially in the, list, the latest ones I'm seeing. I mean, the last ones I'm seeing on your Instagram. Is it something hey, that you're going to be using true or is it just for this particular series? Um, it's, I've been using it for like over a year now, but it's been evolving. The thing with art is sometimes it, dictates when you should change it also before it used to be more 2d then more 3d i've i don't paint faces by choice no doubt because people think oh you must be bad at it but no i because i'm more of a body language i'm a yoruba lady and yoruba we have the saying of komoju komora that's if you can't understand facial expressions mm. you should to understand body language so my works even if i move from this symbol to something else it's still going to be more emphasis on body language. So for me, I don't know whether this is if I don't even, even if something else comes along, I'll still retain this. It so makes sense. And it's really unique because I've never seen it done that way before. So I was like, okay, wow, that's very <laughs> strong. I must, you must explain to me. And there's, there's one that I'm seeing, this, the one I particularly like is the, the one of the lady wearing the, the yellow blazer. And the yellow yes, that yellow yellow. Yes. Is yellow, Can yellow. You tell us about the inspiration yes. behind that particular image. Uh, it's very strong. For, for, for the series, yes, there's this thing about women in suits. Like, I don't know, there's this cheekness, and even though some people be like, Oh, is she trying to be a man? Now nah, that's a man's suit, that's what a man is supposed to wear. Like, it's not it's not about gender, it's not about dragging power or strength. I've always been about women having their own strength irrespective of what they wear whether it's in a gown whether it's in a ball gown whatever suit top shirt what, just that that uniqueness to them like let them wear their confidence confidence yes wearing your confidence however you can in whatever you you are wearing like just expressing your confidence in that so for the suit series that's it. yellow most people would avoid yellow is bright is a look at me color anything but just rock it rock it with confidence yes <laughs> it, it totally makes sense because you know what when i look at this at this painting first of all the, the like i said the the the, the female sign yes. stands out and then i was like wow and then 
they're wearing suits, which is kind of male. So it's like male, female energy. But then at the same time, they're wearing bright color, which is very feminine. So I'm like, yes. wow, this is like <laughs> the perfect balance that everybody should have, really. Thank so you. Like, Thank you. That's what I was going for. The confident. I think most people, when they see men in suits, they think, mm. oh, that's a confident man. Oh, but why is it a problem for a woman to wear suit? And also, it's not, it doesn't have to reflect on dragging strength with a man or anything. She just wants to look good. Exactly. And, <laughs> and you wear perfectly, you know, the way you, you put it on in the series is really spot on. Because I, I got it. I was like, wow. I just wanted you to tell the others, the people that did not get it, to understand the actual idea. Because it's very, you know, it's striking. And even the decor behind, you know, the scenery yeah. behind very yeah. soft and you know it's not hard it's like, you can tell it's a female energy so yeah i am wow. um, into uh, i love clouds i know they are a sign of rain or anything, but i love it me a blue sky and clouds mm. so i've really been putting that and architecture has always been a big thing for me so i've been infusing that into my work recently so you see a lot of marble a lot of blue skies a lot of green too yes as well. And then even the one that also I'm finding it very interesting is the one where you said the I am brave one with the horse. Yes. So can you tell us about, <laughs> about that one as well? Because she's wearing a red long dress, which is, wow. It's like, yeah, that, that, that comes into it. When you see a woman in dress, you're like, oh, yes, yeah, she's being feminine, everything. Yes, she can be. She can be female, she can be feminine and still have her strength. Just mm -hmm. femi femininity should not equate weakness. It should not be like, oh, the meek, she should be meek and thin the more. I, I'm tired of seeing women's strength being judged by how much suffering or suffer head, as we call it, they can handle. Mm -hmm. I want to, like, that's why like the us series for me, it's not us series, but the untamed. You know, us series, they are hard to break. Before you can break the spirit of the us, it, it takes a lot. You don't even completely break it because one misstep and you're gone. Yeah. So I equate some part of that to a woman. Like, you can, you can try to bring her down you can try to make her color and reduce it but still that spirit you know still just it lives on and red is such a dashing and both color very few people personally that's the funniest and i think through my art i can live vicariously i don't really wear red outfits i don't have it so for me it's a thing of when i see people wearing red just doing their thing it's 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 it speaks to me i just i appreciate it it does so make sense. Me, yes. So what would you say is the goal of your art? What do you, what, what is the voice? What is the message you want to, you know, want to bring out there with your art? Embracing femininity in all its shades, in all its colors, in all its experience, everything. It should not be equated. Even in, we are humans. We go through our weak face, our strong faces, everything. But it should not be a thing of gender. Like it should not be like, oh, it's because you're a woman or anything. I want to wear a suit. I'm a woman. Yes, I want to look good. I don't want my outfit to be the judge of my strength or my capabilities or anything. I just want. I am me. I am woman. I'm. I am. I am. <laughs> I just am. I should. I should be me. I can be me. No, it, it makes total sense. So thank you so much for, for saying that because that's an important message, especially out there with 21st century women are now, you know, we want to be portraying like a very positive light on women in general, African women yes. as well, you know, and yes. that, this is a very yeah. strong message. Thank you. And then thank um, you. what do you, how do you, um, well, now you've been in the, in the art industry for professionally now, you're doing that full time, right? Or it's no, it's um. If I do art fully, yes. Okay, so I balance it with the nine to five. I was doing it fully for a while, mm -hmm. but now I balance it with the nine to five. Okay, but that's fine. I mean, it's good to you know. I mean, you always have to find a way to support yourself anyway. But by doing yeah. that, but soon you'll be able to leave it and just focus on that twenty percent. Funny enough, what people. That's always the thing, but what people don't realize, it, or what some people don't realize, is that I love both aspects. I studied finance, both degrees, both MSc and BSc, and I've always loved. Sometimes I go through art love because the there's this excitement I I get when it comes to something outside of arts. So occasionally I just it 
it sparks me and I get inspired too with my attitude from it. So it's not more of a stable income thing. Yeah, stable income. We are Nigerians. We know how far <laughs> that goes. But also, it's something I'm also passionate about. I, I love that aspect of it too. Well, that's good. So basically, you get to do two things that you really love. So that's really nice. You can balance between creativity and exactly. you know, the business work. Yeah, so Monday to Friday, I'm an auditor. After five, I'm an artist. So but I was going to ask artist, you what time you paint stuff. then. I was going to ask you around what time do yeah, you start so painting? I paint sometimes after work. I Thankfully, I'm lucky enough to not stay too far from where I work. So I don't even get that stress. So sometimes I am ginger and I go after work or I dedicate my weekend to it. Okay. Yes. So how do you develop your skills like as an artist? How do you... Painting. <laughs> yeah how do you develop your skills your techniques do you i don't know how do you go about it yeah I, I i am still as an artist i'm still evolving and improving yes but it may sound cliche but practice constant practice by the time there are some things i do now i'm like wait where did i start doing this like where did i get this better <laughs> sometimes you just sometimes when you want to achieve something or anything you can i dial up some friends like hey how far i think you did something like this how did you do that sometimes we just exchange tips then oh, almighty youtube so yeah and yes books are always too they do that so it's a combination of everything and for you know it's okay you're like okay hmm. so is that a way as well for you to find inspiration because i guess obviously in your work you get to see different things and so i don't know if that helps you as well? Mm, well, the work just started recently, but for me, my inspiration has always come from, I tell people books, what I read, mostly what I read. That's why if you, if you notice my Instagram captions, they're usually quotes, because yes. I feel they just encompass everything I want to say in such short words. Sometimes movies, I'm a big movie buff. No, okay, don't let me, let me be humble. Um, I love movies a lot. <laughs> so sometimes a word from here, a quote from there, I, I research like, and I just take it. Or sometimes it is just what I want to express, actually. Or what I feel I wish someone had told me, what I wish I had known years ago. Okay. Oh, I was going to ask you as well. Have you, have you studied art? Or did you mainly study finance and then oh, and then you were so self-taught? How did you... I'm self-taught or like we would call it God taught. Yes. <laughs> I'm self-taught. But I've had occasions where I call up friends like, I'm sorry, how do you do this? Then they'll tell me about the phone. Now, sometimes dropping into an artist studio and you learn some things you don't know. Like, oh, so that's how that works. Yes, but mostly self-taught. Okay. So you, so you must have a network of artists that you work, I mean, not necessarily work with, but you can bounce idea from, go and support, and they support you as well. Mm -hmm. Or you don't have that type of... Yeah, I thankfully I'm blessed with people like that. Yes, yeah. artists. Ah, yes, nice. yes. That's nice. Shout out to uh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, guys. Yeah, she, she's, she's building herself and growing into a wonderful flower. Soon you'll see. Ooh, bloom, bloom, bloom. Exactly. <laughs> oh, well, well, so have you been doing um, exhibitions lately? Oh, yes. This year I've done four. Yeah, four or five. I think one was virtual. Yes, yes. So I have been doing that. Maybe I'll take, I'm thinking of taking a shift back from it just a bit for now. But yeah, so far this year I've done three or four, four, four or five. So how do you find yes. the art industry in in Nigeria at the moment? How is the art scene? I think it's like any other industry. It is also growing. It has its pros and its cons, its lapses. But it's been going well. From my point of view, it's been going well for, as a whole, at least it's not something where some people, um, before where you say, oh, art, art is, and people are ignorant. They don't know what is. Now people are more updated and in tune to art. Art is growing, art is out there, out there. Most people are paying attention to it. There are more opportunities for art. It's more, more like with even digital art too, there, there's before, it used to be, oh, just do graphic design. There's more, how do I put it? Oh, like there's a place for everyone. Everyone is growing, even photography. Everyone is growing, it's growing. 
it's better and it will get better. And what are your thoughts on NFT? Are you are you trying are you to enter that market? What do you think of it? Okay, with my digital I, mean, I just do them and I'm like, oh, beautiful. For me, then if prints, if I have to, if I get to do prints, fine. So then NFT came through and everybody started NFT, NFT. And I'm like, God, what is this? I don't even understand crypto yet. <laughs> uh, but I tapped it. They're like, oh, you have to network. You have to do this, that. So I'm like, okay, let me give it a try. I did. I mean, I mean, that one work. But it, I think there's a lot of social media in involved mm-hmm. and may, may i say a bit of luck as well so it's the way people are like oh instagram has al- algorithms for you to be visible more visible that's how nft is you have to do so many and unfortunately i don't i don't like people that much <laughs> no i don't like people <laughs> but <laughs> so, <laughs> like wow so so much to do and my social media skills are very very low apart from instagram and whatsapp every other thing I give it to God. Yeah, well, so probably, but it's an avenue for others. But for me personally, I'm like, NFC should just day is day. NFC should just day one side. But yeah. I like the fact that it is an avenue for other artists as well, especially digital artists. Yes. Yeah, yeah it makes sense actually. I, I like the fact that you, you explain it very well. There is a space for everybody. Because before it was a bit confusing. I think back then, the, back then the industry was a bit mixed up. So photographers were mixed up with painters, were mixed up with digital artists. And then now there's like kind of a lane that everybody can follow without having to oppress each other. There's space for everybody. So that's really nice, actually. I, I, like, the, I like this as well. Well, we're going to follow exactly. and see what it's all about. Exactly. Because we are growing into it. It's brand new. I don't know everything about it yet, but... I'm learning as well. Um, another question for you. Yeah. Have you got? Have you ever had like a, a creative block, and how did you overcome it? Oh, I think every, every artist goes through that. As of last year, I think middle of last year, I had one so uh, so funny. I had my longest so far like for five months mm. are you there i think the network is a bit crazy no i'm fine i can hear you are we are we good yes we're good okay over here my network is doing that stuff and okay so my creative block as of last year i had one for five months i think at some point i'm telling people well, i've left heart for you people who people should <laughs> it was the funniest i just wanted something different and that's it. And sometimes we want more, but how, how to go about that more? We don't know what it is. We can't place our fingers on it. Then we get overwhelmed. Then um, what is this um, imposter syndrome to kick in? And I like so far, what I've been doing is maybe based on luck. Am I really an artist? Am I original? It's so similar. All of that's compounded or it compounds. And before I know it, I'm like, ah, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> is, oh, then around the web, I got. But I think that's it. Is sometimes that you, I think for for me, sometimes you need to shift back. You need to take a step back and look at everything from another point of view. Because sometimes when you're too close to a problem, you don't get to see the flat picture. Take step. Accept that yes, there is something going on. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Not be mentally in competition with others. Like oh, it's also so it's posting every time. All that. All that contributes as well because you see other people's outputs and you feel, oh, am I being left behind? Not realizing it is no race. This is not a race. There's no first come, first anything. You're doing your thing. They are doing their thing. Just do you. And if you feel, okay, at that moment, it's not moving forward. Break, like a break. That's, I think, creative sometimes. We don't know how to take a break until the break takes us. Mm. So, like take a pause, take a break. Yeah, we're always scared of missing opportunities whenever they will come up. And that's another thing. So I think just accepting that, okay, this is a normal thing. This is a phase. It's a phase out. And just roll with, roll with it while just not closing yourself off. Yeah, Read, consume other materials apart from take a break from social media and all that. Yeah, it helped, it helped me. 
Okay, that's that's a good advice. Thank well, you. That's for my that advice. therapy for myself, Doctor Wandy. <laughs> Thank you for that advice. That's a very good one, actually. Unplug yourself Thank from you. socials. That's a good one. Um, now I'm going to ask you a hard question. Describe, hey, hey, hey. yep. Describe the best piece of art you have ever created. You have to choose one. I know it's hard. You have to choose one and tell us why it's the best to you, or why is it so close to your heart, and what was the concept behind it? Hey, yeah. This is a hard and easy question because yeah. the funniest thing is for every piece of art I create, it's always like, ah, this is my best so far. So it's like, I can't pick one. I just, the thing is, I improve over time. Yes. Of so I'm like, ah, I did that. I did this. Yes, I'm the shit. <laughs> so for me, turning a blank canvas into something others can see and perceive my thoughts from it has made the work my best. And that is for all my works. Even the ones that I'm like, okay, this could have been better. There's always that fact that I push myself to do that. So I'm sorry, it's an easy one. Every every work I've created so far is my best. I'm, ah, and I'm yeah, cheating, you see all of them. You're supposed to I thought the one I did last was my best. Oh no, I knew the one I did last was my best, but now there's even another best. And I'm sure even, after that, too. I'm sorry. There's no ranking here. <laughs> Fine, it's then. Like, I'll let you off. I will let you off for that one. I will let you I'm off. like a mother right now. I can't be partial to one child. Ah. So the creator in me is like that. So, like, all oh, my babies are my babies. <laughs> They're all your babies. That's true. Let's let's not cheat then. We're not going to ask you anymore. That's mm-hmm. all right. And um, does heart help you in uh, in any other areas of your life? Being an artist, having this visual uh, art look on the world, does he have an? Does he help you in your day to day life? And how does he help you if he does? I think in seeing things creatively, and having solutions, being able to create creative solutions. Sometimes when people, I find sometimes when people are like, "Oh, this thing can work," and my head, I don't know whether it's a creative thing. I just think of loopholes, and it's done. So I think being able to perceive things from a creative point of view, like seeing a way through it all, then patience. Normally I'm an overthinker to some extent, but with art, I get to just be like, my mind goes quiet. So in my day-to-day life, when I'm painting, painting helps calm me. I get calmer. Mm. Yes. So yeah. That's good. That's really good. Because if it, it helps you in that way, then that's excellent. I mean, we all yeah. want to have something that's making you better. So, you know, that's your one. That's that's really good. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Um, my last question for you will be, describe how art is important to society. According mm. to you, in your, in your, in your, in your own thoughts. I didn't get that. Sorry. I see Describe how art is important to society. How do you think art is important to society? And I mean, the, without art, what is there? That's the thing. We need our pleasures as human. We need something to escape into. Some, not even just escape. We need something else beyond reality. Sometimes reality can be overwhelming. And in a way, we also, art also reflects parts of reality which we are not seeing in that point of view. It helps broaden our horizon. Mm. With art through books, I'm able to travel to Istanbul and everywhere that I've never been to, to get a clear picture. Jambaran will take me through valleys, alleys, and Italy, and I'm like, ah, yeah, what an adventure. I think art is, as humans, we crave adventure. Adventure, like, we need passion, something to be passionate about, and art gives us that. Art is everything. I don't like some will say like art without art is just hair. So <laughs> that's true. So that's art is true, true. everything. It helps us see things better. It helps us through music, through books, through through movies, through paintings. Art is everything. It's in everything. It's in even creation. Nature too is artistic. Like the way flowers blossom, the way they look, and everything. That's really true. Thank you so much. Thank you, one day for taking the time to answer all my questions. Yay! Thank you. Yay!
<laughs> you did Thank you. It's nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. I'll keep going through your page and see what's up. I know you don't, you don't like to post a lot, but I do see your stories. I, I, I forget. I, I think that's the problem with me. I, 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 I am social media shy. So Why? I forget. I don't know. I don't know. My Facebook, I think I, I use my Facebook once in every six months in the middle of the night. So for me, my Instagram too is the same. I'm like, ah, I've not posted in a while. Even my personal page, I just realized I've not posted till since last May. Also, I'm like, what? Are, where have I been? Have I not been with my phone? And in my phone right now, I have over 8,000 pictures. Less than 500 are personal pictures. I'm like, I will post, I will repost. And... and you don't post. And we're going to get to see your new paintings because you're not showing them. You see, that's the thing. I'm like, I will show, I will show. I think I just posted making one yesterday. It was a commission piece. I think commission piece is um, like artworks. If they are in my style, if mm. the... I'm like I will post. I posted that like I want to post it on my page, but just wanting it to look arranged. Like my friend will say sometimes, at least my workspace, my friends have said it looks like the mind of a schizophrenic patient. So I'm like, my social media should not look like that. Let it <laughs> like <laughs> let it make life easy for people who are not like so they will be like, ah, what's going on here? So it's making it orderly. So I don't try to bombard too many posts because left to me, probably it will be a main page, everything page. So like, yeah. I've got it under control this way. Let me post when I'm good and ready. Yeah, it and, makes sense. And I but, think it helps me. Oh, sorry. It helps me as well with... It's not a rat race. And like I said, it's not a race. Art is, art is not a race. But there's this thing of... If there's that constant need to post, there will be the constant need to look at what other people are doing. Like, oh, I, this person is posting at this rate and that. So I try not to do that to myself. Like, oh, let me to keep up with the... So it's just really good, actually it. because you you are controlling the pressure you're not allowing the stress exactly exactly actually good exactly so that's it for me but if <laughs> you have to share the love or oh, don't be not giving us no images i will oh, I, because i can't my room cannot share the works with me alone I, i'm painting them to share them with others but sometimes i just want to enjoy them by myself yeah. before i share them to every other person like yeah for me That's by me <laughs> then I will it's, it's, it's like if a kid's coach you're like when she's like oh um when someone loves me I want like I'm inviting you to love me to share my love with me so that's how my works are too for me like I love them so I want you to share my works with me like the love I have for them with me <laughs> thank you so much one day thank you very much thank you and I wish you a blessed end of the day and speak to you very soon I hopefully bye no darling problem. Take care. Take care Bye. of you.